Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. I want to talk to you about something a little bit different today. Um, I want to talk to you about storing water. Now, in light of everything that's going on in the world, we all realize, I think, that it's important to have some water on hand because we can't live without water. Um, I don't drink tap water and I'm happier if I have some distilled water on hand that I can drink. Now, a lot of people store water and um, get the little plastic bottles like you get at the store, and if that's what you're comfortable with, that's fine. Those aren't meant to be exposed to extreme heat or cold um, temperatures because it leaches some of the toxins out of the plastic bottle into the water. And over time, the, those bottles do break down. They're not meant for long-term storage, and they're really thin. I don't know if you've noticed, but they're Sorry, my pan of lids over here is making a funny noise. They're um, making, they make crunchy sounds and they're just not very uh, strong like they used to be. So anyway, I, I was thinking um, what would be the best way to store water? And I've come up with a plan and I've done a few of them. Uh, now, they say that you need two gallons of water per person per day to get by. That's including your um, hygiene, dishes, cooking, all that. But what I'm talking to you about today is just drinking water. So I'm going to show you my preferred way for having some water on hand and how it stays clean and sterile for a long shelf life and um, won't get contaminated with the plastic toxins. So <laughs> my husband asked me the other day, he says, what is your process for uh, storing and canning water and I said well I just take a jar and I reach for a couple of hydrogen and oxygen molecules and throw them in there and put a lid on it. He just looked at me like are you crazy? Yes I am and no I don't do that. But anyway I'm going to show you how to can water today and I think it's the best way to have drinkable water on your shelf and so come on let's get started. Okay we're going to hot water can this. My hot water canner holds seven quarts. So that's what I'm going to do is seven quarts. I have here um, an electric hot water pot. Now I drink distilled water, so I have been boiling this and uh, I have to fill it several times to get seven quarts out of it. But I'm going to go ahead and fill my jars. I have two jars out here. Now these jars are sterile. They've been come right out of boiling water. My jars, my lids, my rings, everything has been in boiling water because it's important to me that this water stays sterile. And since it is sterile, it can also be used for medicinal purposes too, which is really important in a crisis or whatever. Um, I mean, you don't even know if you're going to get, you know, something could happen to the water lines, you're going to get snowed in. It's just nice to have water on hand. So I'm going to refill this pot. I'll be right back. All right, we're going to get that on to boil. And while that's boiling, we're going to go ahead and cap these two jars off. So I'm going to put on my lids. This is so easy. The most expensive part of this would just be your jars. And um, I tend to inherit jars. I do buy a few, but for the most part, I get my jars other places. And Marketplace is a great place to, Facebook Marketplace, to get some jars. This time of year it's a little bit harder because everybody's canning and, you know, with everything going on, more people are canning. So I'm going to go ahead and put these in the pot. Now when I get all seven jars in here, I want the water to come up about an inch or two above the top of the jar. And in the meantime, I will just pack up my other jars.
Okay, I had to add a little bit more to this one. I didn't put quite enough in my water pot. I was trying to hurry it through. So I'm gonna let that boil. Now, whatever water you put in your jars, if you're comfortable using tap water, I don't want the fluoride and the chlorine in my water and anything else that happens to be in there. I've distilled water long enough that I see what's left over in the pot at the end and I'm not good with that. But if you want tap water, that's fine. If you have no water, you're gonna wish you had something, but boil it really good. Um, whatever you put in your jars needs to be sterile so that it won't grow anything and they need to be stored in a dark place. So, um, got this last little bit finishing up. I actually stuck in two while the camera was off. I forgot to turn the camera back off. So I do have, this is my seventh jar, getting ready to go in the pot. And, uh, Hopefully I put enough water in this time. Yay. All right, let's get this guy capped off and get it going. Because it actually is making my kitchen a little bit warm. So these look so clean, so fresh when they come out. Um, all right. My water is over the top. I'm going to show you in the pan. Come over here for just a second. All right, come on over just a little bit closer. Look down in the pot. See how the tops are covered with about an inch of water. That's good. Okay, we're going to put a lid on this. And we're going to set our timer. As soon as it comes to a rolling boil, which it won't be very long, we're going to set our timer for 20 minutes. And I'll be back. All right, the timer is going off. So let's take the lid off. Let's see what we've got here. All right. We have some beautiful jars of water. And they are hot, so be sure that you use jar tongs to take them out. And they're boiling inside. I set them on a towel on my counter so I don't ruin my counter. are so pretty and they're already sealing so they seal really fast and this is a good way to use your uh, ball canning lids I told you in previous videos that I use the four jars because they're a little bit heavier and uh, I don't use my ball normally for canning but since this is water I go ahead and use the regular ball lids with these so, all right, I have seven beautiful jars of water sitting here. Now, I will let those sit for 24 hours before I move them so that they'll stay sealed. Uh, so far, all but two of them have sealed, and I'm sure they will. Um, I've not had water seal because, like, I mean, what would keep it from sealing unless you had a jar that had a nick in it? So, anyway, um... I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you get some water in your home uh, because everybody needs water. And it, this is not like an apocalypse thing. It's like they could turn your water off to do work um, on the lines or something and then you wouldn't have water. It's always good to have some on hand. So I hope you like this video. I hope you will like, subscribe, and share with your friends. And I will put the link to my garden club. I do have a garden club. Um, we, we find things to do all year long. So anyway, it doesn't have to be summertime. So just because we're in the fall doesn't mean there aren't things to do to prep for your garden for next year. And there's still things you can grow even inside. So thanks for joining me. Thanks for coming into my kitchen. Go cans and water.